in this video we're going to go over grips. So what are grips? Grips are ways that we can change geometry without actually having to enter a command. So here, when I just select these, I these little blue dots. And these are grips. So if I grab a grip, I can pull it out. And with dynamic turned on, it's going to jump to certain options. So here, the first option, I can just change the radius of that circle. And if I keep pulling it out, I can hit tab. And now I'm just going to add an inch to it, make it twice as big. Or I can bring it back in, just kind of an arbitrary position. <coughs> um, I can pull it over, just put it right there on that endpoint. There's a lot of things I could do just using grips. If I grab the center one, you can see down here, it's still stretching it, but since the center point, it's just going to move it. Same thing with a line. If I grab the center, the midpoint of a line, just going to kind of move it around because it can't really stretch the midpoint. But if I grab the end, it's going to stretch it. <clears throat> Here, my options are either the currently I'm going to add some length to the line, but it's not necessarily going to add it at this angle. And I can hit tab and change the overall length. So if I change the overall length to 4, you can see it didn't go at that angle. It actually made it go straight down at 4. I can pull back up one and make it one shorter than that. If I wanted to pull it straight off to the side, I'd actually have to turn dynamic off. So if F12 will turn dynamic off. Now I can just tell it to go over 0.5 from that existing point. Also with grips, I can just click on it. If I pick an endpoint or something, if I, I right click. I can see I have more than just a stretch. I can actually go to move right from there. So I could pick some objects, pick one of the base, one of the grips, right click, move. <clears throat> I could also click on it, right click, rotate, and rotate it around that specific point. If I want to go around a different point, I could right click again, say base point. I wanted the base of the circle. So now it's rotating around that point. Right click, base point there, rotate around that point. <coughs> um, if I had two different things there, I clicked on both, I could hold shift and pick the two endpoints. Let's see they turn red, that means they're active. Now I can pick that and actually stretch both of these at the same time. So that's kind of the basics of grips. I use it a lot when one thing to worry or one thing to watch when you're using grips is always press escape to get out of it. Don't hit enter. Because let's say I had drawn a line and then I deleted it. So that was the last command I did. If I go in and I stretch this line and then I hit enter, it deletes it because it when I hit enter, it does erase and that thing's selected, so it's gonna erase that. Same thing if undone undo was the last thing I'd done. So if undo is the last command I did. Now I bring this over and I hit enter and it undoes it. And I grab it and I said no, I want it here, enter, it undoes it. So always when you're doing grips, move it over, escape to get out of it. Don't hit enter. And that's it.